Alright, hey collective, how y'all doing today? Now let's see what's coming out these cards today. Now this card been hot. Karen Connections. And that's a lot. We just want one card at a time. Please spit it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, you got two. But that, it, I'm talking about. Look at that. Now you got financial constraints coming out here. However, I see contracts up next. Now this hot card, these two cards, I be hoping something new come out the cards, but listen. Now it do look like some financial constraints are going to come into balance. Now it doesn't necessarily only have to be financial constraints. Because I'm looking at the number 13. Anytime I see financial or currency, I think about your overall energy. Now you have indecision coming out here. And at the bottom of the deck is adjacent possibilities. Now, let me just pull from the card first. Now, I don't know which card I want to use. Let's use the and see what happens. All right, what's this financial constraints? We're going to pull from signs at a time. Okay. With action and abundance. The sunflower. That's always a good thing. At the bottom of the deck is good luck with some coinage. Ten, a new beginning. Now, what's the contract? Now, this action in this sunflower, again, is your overall abundance. Now you got relationships coming out here with contracts. Now that looks like some type of collaboration. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a cop collaboration. It could be some justice. Resolving some issues. You could be learning something. I'm just looking at the books. She's blindfolded. Because you do have indecision here. Now I'm thinking this indecision really does have something to do with these relationships. Just because... This is the number eight. That's the number eight. And it's red. And contracts are between people. Now this might have something to do with uh, some receipts. Paperwork. Financial constraints being released to you. Justice. Could be karmic completions. However, let's see what indecision is. Now this indecision is like a fork in the road. want one card but 
And it has something to do with family and peace. Which is relationships. Now, we did see adjacent possibilities here. Now I'm looking at this door to value because it's the number 31 and those financial constraints. Now this might have something to do with this adjacent possibility. With some keys. But peace and harmony came out with it. So it doesn't look like it's necessarily a bad thing. Because it's really giving me something good. What's this? Yeah. It's like the angels are really with you at this time. Maybe I should just take them both. Okay. They came out. I put them right there. Hmm. Now this peace and harmony is the number 12, which is giving me a new door. Now I'm not sure what the indecision is because you do have yin and yang and that came out all in the, the last reading with keys and opportunity and adjacent possibility. Now maybe somebody moving in with somebody. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Now ancestry is just giving me relationships but but it can be any type of family because it had family reunion let's see what the tarot is talking about that's what's gonna give us the juice oh let me I know what I'll do I know what I'll do. Make it a little bit more interesting. We can see what's going on. We ain't worrying about any reversals. And you have strengthening bonds coming out here. Dreams and decisions. Yeah, I think somebody's indecisive about moving forward with a relationship, maybe. Oh. <laughs> well, it did make me pay attention to balance. got dreams coming true. Right on financial constraints and the um, sunflower. And love abounds at the bottom of the deck. 
Now, you don't have to look at this as an intimate relationship again. You can look at it as some type of collaboration, job offer, whatever you want to do. You know? Friendship, platonic. Good girlfriend, good boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Dude, friend. Man, bro, whatever. How you want to call it? <laughs> you got three cards coming out. Wow. This is deep. Because you got all these wands with clarity and belief, base chakra, and open up. And dreams coming true. And success and growth at the bottom of the deck. Now, this could even have something to do with some type of business venture with this adjacent possibilities, some type of collaboration, you know, as it is over here with success and growth. He looking dead at it, too. Now, this base chakra and this dream, that could be about your creativity, anything that you have a love for, getting to the root of it. Yeah, really tapping into your emotions, your intuition. You got green and blue there. Making this an eight, infinite possibilities. Now, you could be saying one, one, one. Mm -hmm. All these new beginnings here with strengthening bonds, clarity, and belief. Your base. Yeah, dreams coming true. Dreams, decisions. Yeah, opening up. Yeah. With the number 13. And the number 13 right here. 9 and 4 is 13 with this. Right here on the um sunflower. It looks good. A lot of passion down here. Now I'm not sure why indecision is here. But we'll find out. This is at the bottom of the deck. made me pay attention to this because this is eight and eight success and growth do have clarity and belief over here and it's indecision you're gonna find peace I think once you make your mind up because this piece is a number 12. But we'll see what's going on. Let me stop on this. Now, this is hard work paying off or either being stressed out. But again, I see you pouring into your own cup. three of cups here. Now they do look like you're going to be celebrating something. Now you got the hermit and the emperor next to each other. Now Emperor does hold stronger, and now he might have a, something to do with a job. This also indicates authority, a father figure. Now, the hermit is looking at this Three of Cups. Hmm. 
Now, this Three of Cups could have something to do with relationships. As it is on the base chakra. Could also have something to do with uh, partying too much. I don't know. Let me see. the justice card right next to the emperor on contracts with the justice that scale the nine of pentacles now that does indicate some type of liberation independence Some action being taken to get some deception. Now, the justice card is on ancestry, peace and harmony with indecision. Now, we know that the base chakra is about relationships, intimacy, creativity. But you have opened up However, I'm wondering why the hermit is looking at this three of cups. And it's right on financial constraints. Because it do indicate a celebration, but however, let me see. Wow, look at that. This is good news on peace and harmony. An offer. That's going to be the Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands on the three. And he looking dead at the base chakra. to know what the hermit is. Now, it's crazy that the King of Wands is looking dead at the base chakra. What the heck? And look at that. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh 
Oh, spirit. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Listen. <laughs> now, the sunflower, <laughs> I'm just thinking about the woman. And I'm looking at how she's, they open up with the party and financial constraints. And I'm saying that this energy, oh, my God, spirit, come on. <laughs> oh my god it's, it's, where is this hermit <laughs> the chariot am I reading too much of this it looks like it's a go Goodness. <laughs> now this is somebody that's celibate. Mmm, y'all. That was a little bit much spirit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, why are he looking dead at it? Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> Especially, I'm telling the truth. Somebody's gonna see something coming, some type of offer. Now, you standing up for the truth. There, your son. Look like some communication coming. Something that you've been waiting on. Look like somebody about to give you something. An offer. It look like it's going to be a win. Now, both of these per persons right here on this justice card got their eyes blinded. And that's the contracts. And this is the justice card with the same thing. And this emperor is coming in with some type of offer. And it says relationship. Take the offer, doesn't it? Say? What do they? It's it's got a family tree. Do they want to marry you? Daydreams and decisions. He want to create something with you. All these ones with these new beginnings. Open up. Found y'all. Contract. You holding the scales. And it's like it's really up to you because justice is on you as well. And then I stopped the new beginning. And adjacent possibilities for success and growth. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, they got a death card. Look like somebody might move forward with this. Making a decision to move forward with it. Whatever that may be. Whatever this offer is that this emperor is bringing in. Marriage? But that does indicate contracts as well. Something you've been waiting on? Is being released to you? Yeah, missed opportunity. <laughs> now, I don't know if you moved on from this situation or not. This is interesting. Now, sometimes I know a lot of times I don't be this stumped, but I'm stumped. Look, something being released to you. Something being released. They came out together, and it's King of Wands. And it's right on financial constraints. Now, I'm going to go one more row. Because I need to know. <laughs> What's going on? I told you, this is that offer. Now you got the hangman here. This is that indecision. But it's something that's going to, you don't see coming. That's going to shock you. That's going to bring in a new beginning. Something that's going to change your circumstances to this. Yeah. Your hard work. Wow. You know, this is going to release some of them financial strengths, them burdens. But I'm still trying to, why is the hermit, is that the most high? That's I asked was that the most high, and this is duality that crossroads right on the um chariot and the hermit. Clarity and belief. Without some burdens. That's going to change your circumstances. This is contracts, community as well. Collaborations. Better in your circumstances. Now, I also must say that this crossroad is on relationships. Well, yeah. You bet you have strengthening bonds here. Now, that could be the relationship with spirit. 
Because I'm just looking at the Hermit. I'm still trying to figure out why. You know. The Hermit is looking at this Three of Cups. I'm going to clarify what that hermit is. I just want to be sh for sure. Yeah, look. It's a new beginning on the Knight of Cups. And this is the Queen of Wands. Which would make these two a power couple of some sort. Yeah. Something that's going to change your situation. And this is unexpected income, a good luck, or something that's a messenger. Some decision. Something that was stuck. That's strategy, you know. Something that you don't see coming. This is deep. Now, maybe somebody is just... Now, if you're looking for a job or something like that, or some money from the courts, or that, I really see all that happening. But this really do look like some type of surprise. Now, it could even be an inheritance. But I see so many things going on here, because you got the king and the queen... say different people, but no, these look like the same two people. Dig of the sun. That's that death and that rebirth. Right there, with the sun over there. Dreams coming true, opening up. Right here on peace and harmony and decisions, something's going to become clear to you. Somebody softening to love. It looks all good to me. Look at all that. That's crazy. And look, it's like, this is the beginning to the end, right there on Peace and Harmony. <laughs> it's, like, like, it's like the liberation to the death to the sun. It's like it's something. It's, it's more than just the relationship. This is something. Hmm. There's a whole lot going on down here, y'all. I just seen the Empress. There she go. But this is the car. It's seven. And I told you, it's some strategy. But let's see. This is all I'm sure. I want to clarify the hermit 
and this dude right here. Let's see what they're doing. <laughs> oh, this be sure. Okay. Let's clarify them. Where the cards at, sir? Where they at? I'll put them over here somewhere, y'all. Let me see. Where did I put them at? I'll get it. <laughs> We're going to use the same kind. Let me see. All right. What's the hermit? Eight of Wands. Communication. But we're going to do it with three, but got the Magician and the Queen of Cups. What's the hermit? Information coming your way. It's almost, yeah, look, that's crazy. That's those financial constraints, your creativity. It ain't come out, though, but let me see. There you go. Standing up for yourself with the lovers. Damn, look. <laughs> I told you it's something different. It's like you heal. Your base? I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life, y'all. It's like balance? Tell you this is passion. What is it? Give me one more card on there. It's protection. That's the hermit. That's what I'm saying. Was that the most high? Protecting your finances? And this is the star. And look. With the three of cups. And I was saying, was he protecting you? I'm telling you, it's, I don't know what the hell is going on. But this is creepy. I don't know what's about to happen to you, but something... You know, because in the other deck, the Seven of Wands, it's not like this. It's in that bubble with that alignment, you know, protection. That's why I was like, who is this? The Most High covering, protecting, watching over your finances? This situation? And this is protection. All right, now let's see. look. What's at the bottom of the deck? Now what's this seven of wands? Sports. Just so we clear. Ten of cups. That's that offer. Right here on the uh that's why I wanted to use the same cards. Alright, but we still want to know if do good or not. <laughs> if you got one moving towards you, I don't know if you listen. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> Bigger the sun. A new beginning to release some of that stress. But it ain't coming out though, spirit. If 
that's what he got? Damn it, man. You can't. What the hell is going on? That's the good news. And dig of the Empress on that. And that's the, uh, that's him coming in with it. The offer. Dad. There you go, all of that right there where the hermit was. Oh my goodness, child. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Somebody ain't gonna be singing no more. Somebody ain't gonna be celibate no more. That's all I do. That's what I sing. <laughs> Y'all seen it come out. That's why I used the same card. That's exactly why. They want to marry you? They going to surprise you? You ain't going to see it coming. They want to live with you? They want to do something with you? They loyal? Look at all these ones down here with all this new beginning. Now you hear, it's good time to give birth to new ideals and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. Isaiah. Now I don't think that card ever came out the deck. And I don't think this is nobody from your past. Now, could be somebody from your other life or something like that right there. You know, a contract in that manner. Somebody that you're not aware of. But I don't think it's nobody karmic that you let go of. Mm -mm. I just don't. Spirit, I already know. I don't play that. <laughs> So that, that, that. <laughs> you know, we don't do that. Me, anyway. I don't know about this. Everybody gonna make their own decision, but I just don't recommend it. Only you can decide that because I don't know what your situation was. It says, now is the time to learn to study, gather information, enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Now, I even believe that because I think that, yeah, you're the emperor and the empress. Came out as the high priestess. I know you tapped in. You got the ancestry card that came down here. I know your ancestors working with you. You fulfilling your contract. That's why these this is right here in front of this. Even though you got indecision right here. I think that was just based on your singlehood, your independence. But you got that. That's coming to an end. <laughs> oh, shoot. Now let me stop. <laughs> you see your ass in sunshine? Uh, uh, look at that. He was looking dead at the base. <laughs> Oh my 
God, yo. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's it, spirit. Listen, I am I am giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Now, Archangel Michael is working with you. And this is all about yoga exercises. I guess to get your stretches in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Spirit. <laughs> anyway, y'all, this is your message, darling, and good luck with this. Wow. All right, darling. Then I looked at the clock and said 4554. Look up that angel number. 4554. <laughs>